I'm Katie Crest Irby. I'm an assistant coach at Columbia University and I'm here with Liz Kittleman Jackson. She is the head coach at Columbia University. Today I'm going to give you my top three tips on dodging. First of all, what makes a, a dodger very effective is that they never plan their dodge. They make one hard move, they read what their defender does, and then they react off of what their defender does. So if I were going to dodge, I would maybe make one hard move this way. If Liz bites, I'm going to go the other way, okay? If she doesn't go for it, then I'm just really going to go around her. So you never want to plan out your dodge. You really just want to react off of what she gives you. The second thing that I want to make sure to do is leave myself enough space. If I end up too far on top of Liz and I make this move, then I have to come back and around Liz in order to get by her, making me less efficient. So I wanna allow some space, maybe like a stick's length. So if Liz puts her stick out in front of me, this is where I wanna start my move to see what she does. Then I'm gonna react, I have enough space to react to get around her, always moving my feet forward. I never wanna move laterally. It'll give the defender a chance to step back in front of me. Finally, what will make a dodger very effective is their explosion out of the dodge. So they wanna leave the dodge as fast as they can. So once I make this move on Liz, I get her to bite, I get by her, this next step needs to be as explosive as possible to add separation from Liz so that she can't get back in front of me. So those are the top three things that make an, a dodger effective. Reacting off of your defender, allowing enough space, and really exploding out of that dodge.